y'all. Welcome back to the Dan Bar for another Big B beer review. So, today, I got one for you to review. Or actually, for me to review for you. <laughs> All right, from the Lining Kugels Brewing Company, the Jacob Lining Kugels Brewing Company to be exact, up in Wisconsin, we have Juicy Peach, refreshing and tart with natural peach flavors. Coming in at 4.4% ABV. Nice. So, I like their can art. It says, Juicy Peach. Uh, Lina Cool's Juicy Peach is a mild, sour style beer that is brewed with light, tart notes, balanced with the refreshing, sweet flavors of natural peaches. Juicy Peach is just tart enough to keep it interesting but not overly sour, giving you the thirst-quenching, easy-drinking flavor experience that can be enjoyed all year long. With 10 IDUs, it's available year-round from Line and Kugels up in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And I believe they have another one in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Old Milwaukee. Beer with peach juice and natural flavors. Nice. Nice. I think that's what that says too. They got a different thing here. It says, uh, refreshing, easy drinking, blah, blah, blah. Thirst quitch, yeah, it's the same, same stuff, just different words. All right. Let's get to business. It didn't smell like a good peach at first. It smelled like an old peach. But I think that was just that first whiff with some of them, that, the trap gas. But I smell peach for sure. And barley. It's, it's interesting. That's a unique smell. So let's get it in there. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so that came in a variety pack. And look at that. That looks like a nice clear lager beer. I mean, nice clarity on that. I love that. It says it's a sour, and I've seen Beer Advocate call it a Berliner Weiss, but you know. Either way, they're both kind of like a sour type of Berliner Weiss is considered to be like a sour. The head's trying to hold its own. See, it's almost gone. Get it over here color-wise. I'm going to call that about an easy four. Three or four. In the SRM. And there's not enough head to really get a little nip of the head there to taste. Got some lacing going on. That's usually a good sign of quality. Let's dive in. Salut. It smells the same as it did in the can. Peachy. Wow. Mm. Okay. Definitely got a tartness to it. More of a lighter body. Peachy. Malty. Like malty peachy. It's not like sweet, but there is a slight sweetness to it. And a nice crispness to it that I'm really liking. With, that goes along with that tartness. I mean, the peach flavor at all blends together pretty well. Mm-hmm. like a medium light body for sure wow i like that i do like that i i didn't think i was gonna like that that much but it's not bad i've never had this before so this is pretty cool mm. i want some peach pie peach cake or whatever with peaches honestly i think that would pair well with a you know salad 
probably salads would be the best thing probably to pair that with our seafood this would probably pair great with like a, a cod sandwich yeah as a matter of fact now i want a cod sandwich <laughs> so the grades untapped out of 8.2 thousand reviews it gets a 3.66 that's not bad. 0.66 there. It's uh, pretty good. Look at that lacing. That's a sign of high quality usually. Uh oh, oh excuse me. So your advocate gives it an 84 with an average of 3.63 out of a whopping 15 reviews. Now, Lion Cool was a pretty big, you know, company. I've seen them out there on the shelves for quite a while, for many years now. And this kind of it shocked me when I saw that there was only 15 reviews on Beer Advocate. I was like, whoa. So, Big B Beer Review Grade. Would I drink this one again? Absolutely. Do I recommend this one? I think it's pretty darn unique. I made my own peach beer. And this, I'm going to have to actually break up. I think I got a bottle of it. I'm going to try to put it neck and neck. Because I like my peach beer that I made pretty damn good. But... I, this one's got a nice tartness to it that I really like. That, that's really good. Mm. So I'd recommend it. And I would probably buy it again. All that said, that doesn't mean it's an A+. Because 4.4% is the one reason why I probably wouldn't buy it again. Because of that, it came in this variety pack with four different beers, which we will be reviewing here. So it's called the Lodge Pack, and they do their seasonal packs and stuff like that. And I believe that was $19.99, uh, wasn't it? Uh, it was $17.99. $17.99, so. It was on sale. For, But it was on sale for a 12-pack. So, anyways, I'm going to give this one... A B plus. A B plus. So, hey, y'all, make sure you hit like and subscribe and spread the word by sharing. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure you stay tuned to catch the rest of the reviews of these Lining Kugels and a bunch of other great beers I have in the store. So, until then, salute.